Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. Just a quick little update on those two Laplace transforms of cosine of AT and sine of AT. There was something wrong with my last video, I said that those two Laplace transforms do converge when the real part of S has to be greater than zero. But that was wrong of me, because at first we said that S minus a times i has to be greater than zero, then I brought a times i to the other side. But here's the problem, there's no um, order in the complex numbers. So there's no total order, so I can't use inequalities on complex numbers. That was the problem here. So this statement here is kind of false. We have to write it in a different way. And I want you to remember that s is element of the complex numbers. And since it's element of the complex numbers of the first kind, that means we can express S as, let's say, um, C plus I times D. Then we can plug this information in. So this is C plus I times D minus I times A, and this has to be greater than zero. And now we can factor out this I. So that means that C plus I times D minus A has to be greater than zero. And that's a complex number right here. So adding two complex numbers together gives out a complex number once again. <laughs> And now we just won't take a look at the real part as always. So that would mean that this would converge for the real part of this whole thing, which is this whole thing right here. S minus AI greater than zero. And we know that the real part now is just C right here. So that's just what I want to add. A subscriber told me that this right here was indeed wrong. Thank you very much for this. And well. I guess I have corrected myself. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Have a flammable day. See ya.